All right, so I have the uh, SVT Focus here. Uh, I got my rods and pistons all put in. Everything looks good. And then I cleaned off this deck really nice. Um, I didn't really get too crazy with any type of abrasive. Just take a knife and shave off anything that you can. And then clean it with brake clean. Same thing I did with the piston faces. And so now uh, I'm going to put the head studs in. And so same thing with the head studs as the main studs. You want to put them in just finger tight. We aren't getting crazy with them. And, uh, and then we can get ready to get the head gasket and the cylinder head on here. All right, so these are the head studs here and they come with a, like a protective um, kind of almost, they're almost like sticky when they come. And so basically what you need to do is take some brake clean and rinse them off so that they're actually clean. And uh, now we'll get them threaded in. They only go in one way. The threads are, are different on the bottom to the top. So just make sure you're doing it the right way. All right, so here's my uh, head gasket. It's a, a Mali unit, and there's the part number right there. It's labeled as a uh, Victor Rhines part number. It, it's a multi-layer steel uh, unit, so it has um, you know several sheets sheets of steel here. I don't know if you can see that or not. So you want to be sure um, you put it the right way up. So this side is the uh, is the um, the side with the big dowels right here. So that's how you can you can locate that, and then also if you look at these these uh, like water um, ports right here, they match up better when they're this way. So uh, just make sure you get it on the right way. All right, uh, got my cylinder heads uh, back from machining here, and uh, basically one of the castings was bad. Um, I don't recall, I would have really no way of knowing which one's which here. Um, just that uh, this, this cylinder head was bad. There's a crack right there. And so I don't know if you could see that or not. But uh, it's pretty small, but uh, I don't think it would take much to, to cause you a problem here. So this has been blasted and then I assume, I'm assuming they did some sort of a penetrant inspection type of uh, procedure. Um, but uh, that, that stood out to them. Then here's the parts that go with it. All right, and then here's the uh, the good cylinder head. Uh, one of them, uh, the casting was okay, but it needed guides and uh, the valves ground on it too. So that's what's been done here. Uh, I guess I can probably pop that cam off, take a better look, maybe I'll do that quick. All right, so I got the uh, exhaust cam off of here, and you can see basically how these were all labeled. One through eight on the exhaust side. So these have all been set up clearance-wise to match with this camshaft. So um, the machine shop did that. So this is all ready to bolt up and, and put together. Also, it got new uh, valve guides. All right, and here's the uh, piston side. Everything looks really good right there. Um, they did true uh, the surface. Uh, I think four thousandths is what they took off. All right, so I got my washers uh, placed down there and uh, they're lubed on the top and bottom. And then I also took my finger and I went down there and actually touched off onto the bolts, the studs, and made sure that they uh, had lube on them as well. And so they're all tucked down in here um, as they should be. Here's the nuts that I'm gonna use here. Same deal, you get them all slathered up with assembly lube to make sure everything slides nice and we'll get them started here. All right, well, I got all the head studs torqued down now, and um, I did 50, and then I did 60, and then I did 60 again just to make sure everything was tight. And so everything seems settled there, and, and it looks really good. So um, I'm excited to keep moving on this thing. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is put the water pump housing on. It has a, a housing that kind of bolts up um, with these 
what, four bolts there. And uh, first of all, there's a little gasket um, that goes behind here. And the one that I originally took off of there had like little ears that could like bend back so that if you put it up here, it would kind of kind of stay there. Uh, not so with the new gasket that I bought. It's a Molly uh, part number. Here's the part number, uh, K31782. And uh, anyway, the, the gasket's real simple. It's just a tiny sheet. There's no ears or anything on it. But what I did is I put a little uh, RTV on it. And so I'm going to use that to stick it right to the engine block right there. And then now I can take and put the housing over top of it. There's uh, two bolts, one here and one over here. Before the timing belt or any of the camshafts can go in, you got to get this bracket put up. Only two bolts, one here and one on the other side. Alright, so now I have the engine at top dead center. The keyway is facing up at the 12 o'clock position. So now I can go ahead and take and slide this uh, crank sprocket on. And then uh, this piece can just wait. I'm not going to get too crazy tightening everything down just yet. <laughs> 